Right now, what we're going to look at here is the ERV, or the Energy Recovery Ventilator. What this box here does is it changes the air inside your home. Now, as we build our modern homes, building codes have become more stringent. We've really tightened up our homes so that we have a lot less air leakage. But in doing that, what has happened is that we're not getting enough fresh air into our home, so we actually have to mechanically exchange the air inside our homes and that's what this little unit here does it works through a series of uh, different duct work it's connected to your furnace you can run it manually as well but essentially what this thing is doing is it is bringing in fresh air from the outside allows that fresh air to transfer through the duct work and go through your furnace be conditioned whether we're heating it in the winter time or whether we're using the air conditioner in the summertime and then the stale air that's being pulled back from our return air supply gets caught in the ductwork, comes back in, goes through our box here, and actually gets exhausted outside. So we have a constant air change happening back and forth throughout the house so that we have a steady supply of fresh air coming into the house. If you don't get this fresh air supply, what's gonna happen is you're gonna start feeling tired, you're gonna get lethargic just because there's gonna be more carbon dioxide that's actually starting to build up inside our homes as we just do our day-to-day -day living and breathing. The thing is with these things is that they're not maintenance-free. It's like everything else to do with a home, there's always some maintenance that is involved with it. I'm gonna show you the inside of the uh, ERV here right now. There are several filters in there. This is something that a homeowner can definitely do on your own. There are uh, services out there, HVAC companies that will come in and uh, obviously provide this service to you if you're not comfortable doing it, but it's fairly simple to do. Uh, and basically something that uh, every homeowner should do, uh, well, quarterly uh, for some of the filters and then yearly for uh, the bigger filter. So this one here actually has a few screws. You're gonna see other types, but they actually just have a little clip that you can undo and open up the door. This one just takes a little bit more effort. So this basically just has a door on it, which we can open up. This is the main system of the ERV. There's not a lot of moving parts. The only moving parts here is we have fans. These components here are our air filters. As you can see, they come out quite easily. These ones are actually nice and clean right at this point in time. But you can just basically run these underneath the laundry sink or the kitchen sink. What happens is that the air will come in and you'll just get dust and household debris, dander, anything like that on top of these filters. So you wanna make sure that they're breathable and nice and clean. Now, before you put them back, always make sure that they're dry. We don't want wet moisture coming into here. Again, this is the one that's coming in from the outside. This particular filter here tends to get a little bit more debris. You'll actually probably see maybe even some small insects that may get through the screen on the outside intake as well. We've got a little bit of debris. For now though, it's actually quite clean, so we don't need to worry about that. As you can see, we got a little bit of dirt building up here. If you wash these things both every three months, every four months, you should be fine. It's gonna be seasonal as well. Obviously we're gonna get a lot more dirt, dust debris in the spring and in the summer and in the fall. The winter time, they're probably not gonna get quite as dirty just because there's not as much debris floating around outside. This will definitely help with our indoor air quality. If this can't breathe properly, the filters get clogged you're not getting the, that, that full supply of air exchange that is going to make our homes healthier as well. This big box here as well, take my filters out first. Now this unit also comes out. This is the actual air exchanger. As you can see, there's a bit of a corrugated pattern in here. And each one of these little sleeves, one will basically take the indoor air and allow it to pass through. The other side of that corrugated board there is going to take the outside air and allow it to go through as well. This does need to be cleaned roughly about once a year. You may see that uh, some debris, some particles may bypass these filters. Take a look at it. If you're seeing that it's getting dirty, if it's getting clogged, definitely make sure you clean. Again, it's just running, passing through some very light water. Do a spray if you have that kind of nozzle. What happens here though is that as we're bringing in that cold air from outside, coming through here, that cold air is going to be passing through here. At the same time, what's happening is that our warmed air that we've already warmed up inside our house is returning back to our furnace. That's coming through here. So that warm air is actually passing through this through some of the slots. The cold air is passing through the other slots. So as this cold air comes in, as that warm air gets exhausted, what happens is it actually helps 
pre-warm that cold air coming in before it goes to the furnace and then it actually goes back to the furnace, gets heated up to the proper temperature and then away we go and we just keep exchanging the air back and forth in a non-continuous motion. It's just like a circular pattern, you just keep going back and forth. If you read the instructions on the filter here too, you're going to see two arrows that are basically saying towards the, the motors and the air filters. Okay, this is your motors, this is your air filters you want to make sure that those arrows are aligned with that. And just gently put that in there, like that. Now with the filters, you're going to want the fuzzy side facing the fans. This is what's going to pick up our debris and our particulate and any other kind of dander or dust that's in the home. And then once everything's back in place, the door shuts and we just put everything back together. 